Wait, what is your deal, bro? Hi everyone, Donut here. Guess what we're gonna talk about today? Something we never talk about ever. That's right, dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. This incident that we're gonna talk about today is right up there with that guy robbing that driver. The driver hitting the robber with his car when the robber's getaway driver left. And then as the robber was flying through the air from being hit by the person he was robbing, he shot himself in the head on accident. Make sure to check out that video if you haven't, because it is funny as f In addition to going over one of the dumbest ways to die, we're gonna play a little game. I wanna play a game. But first, a word from our sponsor, 511. Look at this dope ass flannel that I have on, that's 511. Look at these dope ass pants they sent me, that's 511 also. This pack, 511. You don't need flannels, pants, or packs. Well, they got other stuff too. And guess what? Right now, it's 20% off site wide if you use the code DONUT511. That's D O N U T 511. But wait, there's more. The holidays are coming up and they got all sorts of cool shit on 511. Men's, women's, bags, packs, footwear, accessories, accessories. Sheet. They got multicams. Sheet. They got select carry pistol pouches. I actually need one of those. Oh man, that's dope. Gifts for her. Oh. Look at that. Oh, sweet. They got gifts under 25 bucks, gifts under 50 bucks. And like I said, use the code DONUT511 to get 20% off anything site-wide that's not on sale. What about professional? Hey, it's a policeman. Oh, they got stuff for law enforcement, fire, e and EMS. Neat. Polos, footwear, outerwear, bags and packs, and plate carriers. What? Looky here. Whether you need some comfort wear, a bag, a pistol carrying fanny pack, or some tactical sh**. Tactical. Who knows when you'll need tactical sh**. You need tactical sh**. Everyone needs tactical sh**. Keywords. Tactical. Christmas is right around the corner, and don't you want to give someone some tactical sh**? Yes, you do. So use the code DONUT511 at 511tactical.com. Like I said a minute ago, just real quick, I want to play a little game. The frosting on Dan's birthday cake contains 29 tablespoons of koala urine. One for each year of his pathetic, meaningless life. What do you say? The media is often misleading. Well, uh, not really often, always, always misleading. I have an entire playlist on this channel called Liar Liar Pants on Fire, where I shit all over the mainstream media because they suck and they lie to you. Just like the government is lying to you about Epstein's client list. So the way this game is gonna work is you gotta guess if this is a real article title or fake article title. Prison time for man accused of breaking into police station to retrieve his seized drugs. Think it's a real title? That's right, it is a real title. Did it take place in Florida though? Let's find out. Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. Man arrested six times since 2021 has been sentenced to prison for the first time. He tried to break into the Lock Haven Police Department to retrieve drugs that had been seized from him. Authorities said in jail he made a comment to a probation officer about how much she valued her life and then threw a container of an unknown fluid on the officer. It was probably just cum. Next title. Sydney police officer describes shock and fear after colleague pointed gun at him over threat to spoil Top Gun plot. That's definitely a fake one, right? Wrong! I didn't even know Sydney police had guns. I just thought they threw boomerangs and wallabies and other shit at people. A police officer who had a firearm aimed at his head by a colleague for threatening to spoil the latest Top Gun blockbuster says he has completely lost trust in the force. The 30-year-old was on duty behind the front desk of Day Street Police Station in Chinatown when then probationary con Constable Royston began discussing Top Gun Maverick, which he had seen the night before. The court has been told that Gaynor asked him not to ruin the movie, to which the younger officer replied, I'll spoil it for you. According to court documents, Gaynor responded, don't spoil the movie, c <laughs> Gaynor then threatened to shoot Royston before laughing and taking his Glock out of its holster. He pointed the weapon towards the other officer for around five seconds without his finger on the trigger. All right, let's be completely f***ing honest here for a second. Don't you just want to shoot people who spoil movies for you sometimes, especially if it's a good movie? You just want to pull your Glock out and point it at them? I feel you on that one. South Korean man killed by industrial robot that identified him as a box. All right, that's not funny, everyone. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. An employee at a pepper sorting plant in South Korea died after being crushed by an industrial robot that mistook him for a box of vegetables. <laughs> All right, that's not funny. Stop it. But Donut, what does that have to do with crime? You, you know what that has to do with crime? That goddamn robot knew exactly what it was doing. Do you know how advanced AI is these days? That was a f***ing murder. I did not murder him! Next up, woman jailed after rent a hitman.com assassin turned out to be, surprise, 
FBI. I'm just going to go ahead and say pretty much everything on this list is real. I just wanted to read you guys some silly fucking stories. Basically, this is a Leo recap. One of them good old lasagna enhancement organizations that we used to do back in the day. We should bring those back and do them more often. A 34-year-old woman has been jailed for 18 months after trying to use rentahitman.com. No, really. To pay a contract killer to eliminate a rival she was beefing with. A would-be assassin for hire unsurprisingly turned out to be an FBI agent. What is this hat? the Waffle House? They met at the fucking Waffle House. It's amazing. This is the trashiest freaking assassination I've ever seen in my life. Oh, she was trying to kill her baby daddy's girlfriend. According to court documents, Ellis told the undercover agent she had been feuding with BH over social media because the two women had children by the same man. She told the undercover cop that her real name was Zandra Ellis, confirmed she wanted BH killed, paid him $100 for the hit, and agreed to pay the remaining balance in $250 installments every two weeks. Yeah, so I met him up at the Waffle House and gave him a hundred bucks to go off that bitch. <laughs> Yo, does, does uh, rentahitman.com work? All right, guys, uh, watch me get put on another watch list. Will the incognito Google protect me from the government? Let's find out. Rent a hitman dot cal. <laughs> Rent a hitman, your point and click solution. We are temporary seizing operations. What the f The dark web is not safe, but we are. Is that a problem that needs resolving? <laughs> Over 17,000 US based field operators, we can find a solution that's right for you. This is real. People actually do this. Since 1920, Rent a Hitman has assisted a diverse range of satisfied clients. <laughs> Legal and alibi department, auto extended warranty department, Trump University refunds. What the f Hold on, I gotta get me some rent a hitman stuff. This is dumb as shit. Okay, so this is basically just feds right here. I am definitely on some kind of watch list. Not that I'm, you know, I I'm, I wasn't already. I live in San Antonio with a large machine gun collection. Careers. I want to be a hitman. How do I do that, Mr. Government Man? Anyways, donuts on another list, boys. Let's keep going with these titles that are totally fake. GOP House candidate recreates MLK assassination, reviews shooter's rifle. Is this article real or fake? It's real. Hey, look at that guy. Republican congressional candidate Brandon Herrera, also known as the AK guy, posted a video recreating the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. and reviewed the rifle used by shooter James Earl Ray. Herrera is challenging Republican incumbent Representative Tony Gonzalez of Texas 23rd Congressional District. How could he do a historical documentary in a funny manner? God, God damn you, Brandon Herrera, you, you MAGA Trumper. However, Herrera's attempt to, as he put it, combine the topic with dark, edgy humor in a video may not sit well with some Republican voters. <laughs> at the end of his video, Herrera shot the MLK target dummy at close proximity, execution style, laughed then commented, this is so f***ing wrong. <laughs> and look at Brandon back in, what is that, 2016? Look at him. <laughs> look at him. That's not even, doesn't even look like Brandon. The execution shot of the MLK target dummy at the end of the video combined with the GOP candidates laughing is horrific. Herrera's statement is correct. This is so f***ing wrong. Thank you for the wonderful article, you p <laughs> JD Wolf. And last but not least, one more article before we get into our shooting. The shooting's pretty short, so I just, I've been wanting to do this for a minute. Just read off some of these articles I've been saving up. It's a good shooting, though. It's good training. One more article, though. Firecrackers at Eden Gardens match kill voice of Regent's police horse. I read that correct. I read that correct. Of, of course, the articles. There weren't even fake articles on here. I don't even know why I wanted to play a game. I read the title of that correctly. I just think it's translated poorly because it's, it's from India. Firecrackers at Eden Gardens match kill voice of Regent's police force. The Cricket Association of Bengal Secretary Narish Osha told the Telegraph that they had prior permission from the Pollution Control Board and Calcutta Police to burst firecrackers. Oh, so the, oh, a police horse named Voice of Regents. Oh, fuck you. Oh, so it was a police horse. Okay, okay. Voice of Regents, named Voice of Regents, died of a heart attack after being spooked by the sudden bursting of firecrackers at Eden Gardens following Times of India. The horse was on duty outside the cricket stadium with its handler, Animesh Chakraborty. The horse was aged five years and 10 months. That makes a little bit more sense now, kind of. The, the police horse died from the fireworks, it had a heart attack. Let's let's do shootings. Let's do shootings. Below 60 IQ crime stuff. Here we go. The incident that we're going to talk about today actually came out a couple months ago. I'm slacking a little bit. I know I can suck at my job. I was going to do it, completely forgot, and I just found it last night in all my notes and my scripts and stuff. So here it is. Louisville, Kentucky, June 19th, 2023, 1.30 in the afternoon. An officer with the Louisville Metro Police Department's Fugitive Task Force was inside of his unmarked vehicle pulling some surveillance. Our jump out boy was just chilling in his unmarked police car in an 
an alleyway trying to find a suspect from a previous assault case. Our suspect, a dude who has nothing to do with whatever assault case the officer is investigating, is driving around with his baby mama. A new suspect has entered the chat. The new suspect, driving around with his baby mama, sees the car parked there and says to himself, I have a brilliant idea. I'm going to put on a ski mask, pull out my gun, and go pull the door open on that car. Almost sounds like a carjacking to me. You sure about that? We're shattering a little bit here. Actions are about to meet consequences. Police! As you can see, the suspect is pointing a gun directly at the undercover police officer's head. The officer doesn't appreciate this very much at all. I'm doing the fucking Tim Robinson a lot today. I don't know why. You sure about that? Police! Give me your hand! Give me your hand! Shots fired! Shots fired! What is your deal, bro? I love that. What's your deal, bro? What is your deal, bro? I think his deal is that he was wearing a ski mask, pointed a gun at an armed officer and got shot in the chest three times. Dude still tries to say, I wasn't going to rob you. Okay, the ski mask is just, you wear that all the time, right? And carry a gun around and open car doors. What is your deal, bro? Send somebody back here. I just tried to get robbed. I wasn't going to rob you. What's your name? Mark. What? Yeah, Mark. Send cars to me. Somebody's trying to rob and rob me. <laughs> Call 911. Oh, okay. You just shook my baby daddy. You just shook my baby daddy. He's trying to rob me. Get me back here. I got somebody showing up. Stay back. There's a gun. Well, that's odd. Baby mama shows up 10 seconds later. It's almost like she knew exactly what he was doing. Should she be charged as an accomplice? You be the judge. Anyways, dude has three holes in his chest, baby mama's screaming, and the officer is still alone. Let's keep going. That's my baby daddy! Did you just shoot my baby daddy? He's trying to rob me. Get me back here. I got somebody showing up. Stay back! There's a gun! Stay back! Baby daddy, my son's in the car! I don't know if you heard that, but she said, my son is in the car. It almost sounds like they were driving around looking for someone to rob with their child in the back seat. He just Get on the main channel. Get here. Stop! I'm Get back! Now! Get back! Get back. Now! No weapon, okay, get back. Hey, where's he shot? Where's he shot? Oh, right here, Prill. Right here. Oh, Did you call an ambulance? They're getting it out. Did you call an ambulance? Mark, is he dead? Did you call an ambulance? That's m mom. That's my son in the back of the car. That's my baby daddy. I know what happened. On the front channel, just uh, ah. turn off. Other jump out boys start showing up to secure the scene. Baby mom is hysterical, and dude on the ground isn't moving. Probably because the officer got at least one heart shot, and uh, dude, dude's already dead. Please, can one I down, touch I'm you? Please, can I touch No, just wait. We're going to get EMS because he's going to be working on him. Okay. 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 Weren't you shooting? Weren't Do you, what? Weren't you shooting? Man, I don't know right now. That's what we're going to get. Mark, baby, I love you, Mark! He looks like he's dying, man. I know. He's getting all the EMS stuff right now for him, okay? Please. We're going to get him working on him. We will. What's his name? Mark Jaggers? Okay. That's my baby daddy. Okay. We're going to get him working on right now. Please, that's my baby daddy. That is my baby daddy. I can't, I can't. I, oh my God. Oh my God. Please. We're right here. Here, step back over here. So it goes on for like five minutes like this, and baby daddy is screamed a hundred more times by baby mama. They start working on the 21-year-old suspect, but I don't think anyone's gonna help old boy at this point. Come on. Now the entire extended family has shown up and you can hear someone yelling, hey, they shot my brother. Yes, like I said earlier, as consequences of his actions. The action of pointing a gun at a cop who also has a gun. The father of the suspect was not on scene with the rest of the clan, but he did speak to the news shortly after. The father of the suspect stated, I don't know why he would have his gun to run up to that car unless he, but I know he didn't know. He didn't think anybody was in that car. I know that for a fact. I know my boy. Hmm. The family of the suspect also spoke out. They stated that what happened was a distorted and corrupt narrative being peddled by authorities. Police! Give me your hand! Give me your hand! 
Shots fired. That narrative doesn't look very distorted to me. It looks pretty straightforward as to what happened. The lawyer of the family also had a lot to say. The attorney stated that officials presented a false face and caricature of the truth to poison the minds of the public. My mind wasn't poisoned very much by the video where it clearly shows someone in a ski mask pointing a gun at a police officer. No mind poison here, Mr. Attorney Man. Well, everyone, that's all I have for you today. I hope we can do more of these little recaps in the future, read some more silly stories, and watch criminals get smoked because they pointed a gun at police and my mind is poisoned now or something. But whatever. If you want to help support the channel, you can go on over to donutoperator.com, get some super sweet merch, follow me on every other platform. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because it turns out only about 1% of you guys are notified when I release a video. I love you, and until next time, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Bye.